what is up guys? I am here in my chair, very close to you right now because my couch is a mess and I've been cleaning it up. It's uh, It's been pretty bad. Um, as you know, I have a fluffy white cat and my fluffy white cat likes to constantly sleep on these blankets that I have. Uh, which is kind of weird because she literally, when I first got her, would only sleep on couch arms and like the top of the couch. And I came home like a couple days ago and she was just like, resting and nestling right here and literally it's like wadded with cat hair it's absolutely disgusting <laughs> it's like she she loses so much hair it's not even funny but I'm here to talk about something really cool that I actually just noticed from another youtubers channel and uh, every time that we think spider-man 4 can escape my mind and everything we come up with something completely different so I'll be showing pictures during this video um, to kind of talk about this but Apparently this sold at auction a, two years ago, maybe a year ago, and no one knew what it was until it was confirmed as of recently what this actually was. So what you're seeing here are pictures of what these look like are like kind of razor wings, like bird wings. They were sold as an unknown movie prop uh, at auction. Uh, they didn't sell at first because no one was able to pinpoint what they actually were. But now, as, as of recent, it's actually known what they are, and they did sell for, I believe, $500 with the, um, when I looked it up, it was like $500. No one really knew what it was, like I said at the time, and now they're worth a lot more because now people know what they are. Uh, these are actually, believe it or not, the early stage of vulture wings for John Malkovich as the vulture in Spider-Man 4. I know everyone's probably losing their fucking minds right now. It's like, what? Sam Raimi made a different prop for Spider-Man 4? Yes, he did. He did indeed. And uh, I talk a lot of, about a lot of stuff with Spider-Man 4. As you know, it's one of my like big losses in life that we actually never got it. But more and more stuff has been coming out recently about props and like other things that make me think that Spider-Man 4 may even still be in the wheelhouse. Because here's my thinking. We're doing kind of a Spider-Man movie, Sam Raimi's directing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse, and a lot of things are happening, granted. Um, but I think that it's possible that it might happen, and with these wings surfacing on a channel, um, it's just incredible to me that this is actually still coming out. As you know, we had the Spider-Man 3 editor's cut last year. Uh, there's talk of another cut of Spider-Man 3 or Spider-Man 2 being made. I know Sam Raimi said that there are a lot of deleted scenes from Spider-Man 3 that never made it into the film, so we could be seeing an extended cut of Spider-Man 3, which could range from two and a half hours to two hours and 45 minutes, almost garnering on that end game time, which I think would be cool. But I just wanted to talk about these wings. Do they not look amazing? I will also be putting up the concept art for what Vulture looked like in the Spider-Man 3 concept art before it was trashed for Venom. But I just thought these looked really cool, and I needed to share this with you guys. I thought you might like this. So, guys, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you thinking about the Multiverse of Madness? Do you think we're going to see Toby again? Do you think Spider-Man 4 may be possible down the road with a connected universe? Let me know what you think. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, hit like, smash subscribe, and comment whatever you'd like down below. Guys, I'm Nighthawk, and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Goodbye, guys.